Born Enrique Uzi Martin Morales on December 24, 1971 in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Martin began appearing in commercials on local television around the age of six. He auditioned three times for the teen singing group Menudo before finally earning a spot in 1984. In his five years with Menudo, Martin toured around the world, singing in several languages. He reached the group's age limit of 18 in 1989 and returned to Puerto Rico just long enough to finish high school before moving to New York to pursue a solo acting and singing career. While Martin was actively pursuing his acting career, he was also recording and releasing albums and making concert appearances. He had become well known in his native Puerto Rico and among the Latin and Hispanic community as a whole. His debut solo album, Ricky Martin, was released in 1988 by the Sony Latin Division, followed by his second effort, Mia Mares, in 1989. His third album, Amedio Vivir, came out in 1997, the same year that he lent his voice to the Spanish-language version of Disney's animated feature, Hercules. His next project, Vuelve, released in 1998, featured the hit single, La Copa de la Vida, The Cup of Life which Martin performed at the 1998 World Cup Soccer Tournament in France as part of a showcase broadcast to two billion people around the world. At the Grammy Awards in February 1999, Martin, already a global pop sensation, gave a sizzling performance of La Copa de la Vida at Los Angeles Shrine Auditorium just before picking up an award for Best Latin Pop Performance for Vuelve. He followed that star-making Grammy night with the release of his phenomenally successful first English single, Live in La Vida Loca. His album, Ricky Martin, debuted at number one on the Billboard chart. Martin was also featured on the cover of Time magazine and credited with helping to bring a growing Latin cultural influence into mainstream American pop music. To add to the popular success of his debut English album and single, Martin was nominated in four categories at the Grammy Awards, held in February 2000. Although he lost in all four categories to veteran male pop artist Sting, Best Pop Album, Best Male Pop Vocal Performance, and Santana, the band led by resurgent guitarist Carlos Santana, Song of the Year, Record of the Year, Martin delivered another Red Hot Live performance a year after his triumphant Grammy debut. In November 2000, Martin released Sound Loaded, the much-anticipated follow-up album to Ricky Martin. Its hit single, She Bangs, earned Martin yet another Grammy nomination for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance. After Sound Loaded, Martin continued making music both in Spanish and English, his greatest Spanish-language hits were compiled on La Historia. This was followed two years later by Almas del Silencio, which contained new material sung in Spanish. The album Life was his first English-language album since 2000. The album did reasonably well, reaching the top 10 of Billboard's album charts. Martin, however, has yet to recapture the same level of pop success he achieved with previous albums. When Martin traveled to Mexico to appear in a stage musical, the gig led to a role as a singer on the 1992 Spanish-language telenovela Alcanzar Una Estrella, or To Reach a Star. The show proved so popular that he reprised the role in a movie version of the serial. In 1993, Martin moved to Los Angeles, where he made his American TV debut in the sitcom Getting By. In 1995, he acted on the daytime soap opera General Hospital, and in 1996, he starred in the Broadway production of Le Miserables. Martin published his autobiography, me in 2010, which quickly turned into a bestseller. Around this time, he also teamed with Joss Stone for the Do It single, The Best Thing About Me Is You, which proved to be a minor hit. Martin soon released a new album of songs, mostly in Spanish, Musica Plus Alma Plus Sexo, which climbed almost to the top of the pop charts and became his latest number one recording on the Latin charts. In 2012, Martin made a guest appearance on the high school musical series Glee, he also returned to Broadway that April for a revival of the hit musical Evita by Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber. He played the role of Chad, who helps narrate the story of Eva Perón, one of Argentina's most legendary figures and wife to leader Juan Perón. Martin starred in FX's The Assassination of Janet Versus, American Crime Story, which premiered in January 2018. Martin played Versus' longtime partner, Antonio D'Amico, who was there the day that Versus was murdered. Martin became a father with the birth of twin boys, Matteo and Valentino, via surrogate in 2008. Once evasive about his private life, Martin came out in 2010 on his website. He wrote, I am proud to say that I am a fortunate homosexual man. I am very blessed to be who I am. Martin explained that his decision to go public with his sexuality was inspired in part by his sons. During an appearance on Ellen DeGeneres' talk show in November 2016, Martin announced his engagement to Juan Yosef, an artist who was born in Syria and raised in Sweden. 
Martin confirmed that the two had quietly gotten married, with a big reception to come in the following months. Martin saw his family grow with the arrival of daughter Lucia in late 2018. Another son, Ren, followed in October 2019. He founded the Ricky Martin Foundation in 2000 as a child advocacy organization. The group runs the People for Children Project, which fights child exploitation. In 2006, Martin spoke in support of a United Nations effort to improve the rights of children worldwide in front of the U.S. House International Relations Committee. Martin, through his foundation, also supports efforts by other charitable organizations. He has received numerous awards for his philanthropic work, including the 2005 International Humanitarian Award from the International Center for Missing and Exploited Children. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe.